right now we're in the um, molding factory that we have next to the main factory um, where a lot of the tools are to build the parts that we then bring over to the main factory to build. So actually right here is the hull tool for the 526 and you can see that it's just completed the bagging process. You've got your foam here, your e-glass on the outside um, and you know it's it's the beginning of, of, of a hull you know coming together. These gentlemen over here are involved in preparing this hall here. Yeah, so now these are temporary bulkheads that go in so that when we pull this hull out, it has the rigidity that we need before we start assembling the foam core bulkheads. This is kind of neat here. Here's some of our um, carbon fiber handmade handholds. Compare that to stainless and compare that in terms of maintenance. Because remember, stainless means stain less. When you do something in composite and you paint it, it's a maintenance free experience. It's much lighter. And, but again, it's very time consuming to build these parts and to bring them, you know, tie them to the boat. This here is part of the VersaHelm folding seat setup. Again, crushingly heavy. <laughs> um, and so basically you're just looking at, this is the bottom of one of the seats. We make all of this stuff ourselves here composite. It's very little is done brought in for our boats except for major components. Anything we can do in composite at Balance, we'll always do it in composite. Um, here we're building a custom standing platform for one of our customers um, because the, we have a customer that's wife is uh, you know about five feet tall and he's about six foot eight. So you have this huge ergonomic difference. So when she's in the down helm station and she wants to pilot the boat and look out the windows, we created this little p platform that drops down that she can stand up on. So she now has the perfect visibility that she needs to look over both bows when she's piloting the boat up a river or something like that. So that's one of the cool things about us is that all of our customers are different and no two people are alike. And so whether it's our interiors or whether you know we're doing something custom for somebody, there's nothing cookie cutter about the kind of boats that we're building here. Here you're just looking at foam panels constantly because this is basically what we're building everything out of, these very lightweight closed cell foam core panels. What's great about foam core too when you, when you use it in the hulls is that um, foam core, if you were to get a puncture beneath the waterline on a foam core boat, the water can't migrate very far at all. Um, and so a delamination or a puncture below the waterline is really not a big deal. The other advantage of having a boat that's e-glass in the main areas is that e-glass is easily repaired anywhere where carbon fiber typically takes more expertise. And if you're in some out of the way place and you need to patch something up, it's a lot nicer to be able to do it just with epoxy and e-glass. So this is actually um, uh, the start of the tooling for the new 620. Um, So what we've done is we've taken our 600 and we've modified the tooling to lengthen it and sharpen the bows because we wanted the boat to be even faster than it was. So here um, we're in the early tooling process of creating this new sharp forward rake bow on the boat that's consistent with the rest of our designs. Um, and it's a really going to be a really, really exciting boat because of the first four or five that were built, they've been sailing all around the world. This, people have been thrilled with them. But this new 620 is just going to be even faster, even lighter. Um, it's just going to take over from the 600 all the great things we learned on that boat and put it into this new package, which has a more modern look in terms of her exterior and, and also her interior. The interior renders the boat are beautiful. It's got a very open back concept. Um, so we're really excited about the boat. So what do we got going over here? This is so much fun. Um, so what he's doing here is he's creating hatches, the deck hatches. These are all out of, of solid glass in these molds. And again, once again, we hand make all this stuff. This is the handmade engine bay mount for the uh, Yanmar engines that we put in the boats. 
This is where the sail drive leg comes out. And uh, over here, these are the carbon fiber chafe plates that we put by the cleats of the boat to keep the dock lines from rubbing against the uh, paint on the boat. So they're carbon that are clear coated. They kind of add a cool look to the boat um, and people really like them. So the problem with the clear coated carbon is you don't want it all over the boat because typically it doesn't hold up well into the UV and you have to repaint it once in a while. But carbon in the exterior and a few key areas gives the boat a nice kind of cool modern finish. Large part of building high technology boats and really is vacuum bagging. So right here you see um, of the pump that's pulling bars of pressure on one of the parts that we're vacuum bagging. So you put, you put things on a bag table, you see this tube right here. This is pulling under pressure this bag, which is condensing down. This is carbon fiber here with epoxy. Um, and so it's just creating this super tight um, bond of the glass to the foam. Um, and so bagging is an important part of much of what we do here at the factory. This is the uh, uh, tool for the hull, and we're right up here at the bow area of the boat. And you can see this is all thick foam all around the bow. You see how much foam that is. This is a, a part of the crash bulkhead system on the boat so that if you were to run into something, this entire front portion of the bow can be crushed totally, and then this is still buoyant. And then this uh, gentleman over here is just adding on reinforcement for where the um, four beam uh, attaches with bolts to join the uh, to join you know the two hulls um, where the shrouds and the well the forestay comes in. So he's reinforcing this with additional glass, and he's now scrimming in um, over the foam for this crash bulkhead on the bow.